Hi Central 3rd grade, this is Miss Turner and we are getting ready to go out to a bee farm to learn about honeybees. So, as you might have guessed, when I first walked out onto the bee yard, I was really, really nervous. I just knew that when I walked out, I was going to be swarmed with bees and there was going to be bees flying everywhere and it was going to be really overwhelming. But, surprisingly, it was really chill and all of the bees happened to be in the hive, or most of the bees happened to stay in the hive. Um, they were just in there doing their thing, working hard, um, eating honey, taking care of the little baby bees. And what I learned, which I found so fascinating about being out in the bee yard, was that these bees never stop working. They're constantly, you know, um, making honey, capping honey, um, capping their little um, honeycomb where the baby bees are, you know, they live and before they hatch. And it's just amazing to watch them and see how they work and how they clump up together to keep warm since this was kind of a cool day. They're just, it's such a complex thing to look at the hive. But enough of me talking. Let's listen in and see what's going on in the hive. Now you can see we are pulling out one of the frames that holds honey. This thing was covered in bees and full of honey. When the bees fill a cell of the honeycomb with honey, they cap it with beeswax, which they make from their own body naturally. You might be wondering why your teacher is wearing such an unusual outfit. And the answer is, this is a beekeeper suit. It's what beekeepers wear, and it's specifically made for them to help them do their job better. Now this part was a totally scary, but super exciting experience. Let's listen in. I am holding a frame of honey out of a real um, beehive. So all the bees are on here and this is where they store all of their honey. Inside the little honeycomb. So cool. It's actually really heavy. To get the frame to the extractor so we can harvest the honey, we have to get the bees off of the frame. So we had to shake it pretty viciously in order for them to just, well, fall off. All of that you see, so all those little brown spots, which are all baby bees inside of there. And how do they get out? They eat their way out, right? They chew. They chew it out. Oh, cool. This was by far my favorite part about going to the bee yard, getting to see the queen bee. That bee you see with the red dotted paint on her back, that's the queen bee. She has a larger abdomen than all the other bees, which she uses to be able to lay eggs in different cells of the hive. Okay, so now we're back from the bee farm, also called an apiary, 
and we're in the honey house here to ask our beekeeper, Mr. Steve, some questions. All right, guys, so this is my father-in-law, Steve, Mr. Steve, beekeeper Steve, and he has a um, honey business. He's a beekeeper, and his business is called Honeyton Farm. So we're going to ask him some questions. Okay, so our first question for you is, how do bees make honey? Okay, the worker bees in the hive, they fly around to all the flowers and they pollinate the flowers. And the flowers put off nectar and they collect that nectar and they bring it back to the hive and they make honey out of it. Oh, so they use the nectar from the flowers. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so they use the pollen and the nectar. The pollen is that green stuff we, and yellow stuff all we see cars, all over yeah, the right. place now these, this time of year. Okay, so what does a beekeeper do? The beekeeper has to take care of the hives. They have to make sure that the queen's okay. They have to make sure that they are disease free. They have to make sure they have room uh, in the hive because the beehives grow in the spring. So you have to have boxes to make the hives bigger so that they can store honey in them. And then we collect the honey, the excess honey, and we spin it out and we take that for ourselves. Cool. But we leave enough for the hive and the baby bees. To survive? Yeah. Cool. So, um, I know this is the question that I know everybody's wondering. When we go out to the bee yard, we wore the huge suits with the the hoods that went over our faces and it was, we were just, I mean, really decked out and stuff. So, how often, with all of that on, how often do you get stung still? I still get stung a lot. It depends on the days. If the sun's shining, the bees are nice. They don't sting that much. When it's cloudy and rainy, they sting a lot. So I get stung a lot. Fun fact, nobody got stung today, so that's a win. Um, and then, oh, I was going to ask you, what do you use that smoker for? We saw in the video you using a smoker a little bit. What does that do? Okay, so the smoker calms the bees down. When you puff smoke on them, they think that there is a forest fire and they're fixing to have to leave the hive, so it, they will eat a lot of honey. And when they eat a lot of honey, they're happy. Oh. So it makes the bees happy, and then they don't sting as much. And you mentioned to me earlier that there's a reason that the clothes that we wear when we go to the hive is all white. Um, it's because the bees don't like, what color is that? They don't like that? black, they don't dark like black. because they're, uh, the bees' natural enemies are bears, skunks, and all those things are black or dark and they're furry. So we wear white and they're not threatened by white. Cool. So my last question is, okay, we went to the bee yard, we got the frame. Now, how do you get the honey out of the frame and put it into a bottle to where we actually eat it? This is a frame we took out of the top of the hive. And when the bees make honey, they store it, they put caps over the top. Mm -hmm. The beeswax. Beeswax caps, that means it's, it's ready to harvest. So we bring it into the honey house, we, we take a knife, and we cut these caps off. Oh wow. You can see the honey just coming right out. Wow. It's a little bit cold today. And that makes it a little harder to do. Yeah, can I taste a little bit of it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. So we cut both sides off when we do the harvest. And you actually sell your honey with the comb in it too, right? We do. You yeah. can chew on the comb and get the honey out. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. So that's called uncapping. That's uncapping the honey. Look at it now. Full of honey. Wow. So what we do then is we take this frame, and we put it in this machine, which is called an extractor. It goes in there like that, and mm -hmm. then we turn this on, and it spins. And as it spins, what happens? As it spins, it slings this honey out. The honey slings against the wall of this, uh -huh. and then it runs down into the bottom, and there's a spout where it runs out. After the honey is extracted, it's filtered and then it heads straight to the bottling tank. All right, now that we've extracted the honey, it goes into this bottling tank and we can bottle it just like this. It comes out nice and slow, especially since it's kind of cold outside. I 
we've seen our honey go all the way from the bee yard to the bottle. All right, third grade, so we've seen our honey get taken out of the hives in the bee farm, get uncapped and put in the extractor, filtered, put in our bottling tank, and now it is bottled. Super cool. We had so much fun out here and I cannot wait to come back.